Dr. Reisman. Yes. All the results? Yes. Okay. Yes, I understand. Yes, thank you. That was my second opinion. Be getting a third soon. His professional thought is that six months on dialysis. Three kids under seven. All my kids that have to grow up without a father. Me. I'm not going to go out this way. I can't go out like this. I'm going to do. I do something. What can I do? I gotta take care of my kids. I gotta take care of my family. That's not how I want this to end. Yeah. I need a third opinion. I'm running out of time. If my first doctor would have caught it six months a year ago, be much higher on the waiting list, this wouldn't be a problem. I'd be fine. Sure I've got plenty of plenty of money to give them on. One of the top executives of a Fortune 500 company. <laughs> what a good that's doing. Six months. What other option is there for me? This is the only thing I have. This is the only option I have. I'm very poor. I cannot even keep food on the table for my two kids. I can't pay for their education. My job oppresses me. They refuse to treat me fairly. I only make $480 a year. This is the only option I have to make a better future and a better life for not only me, but for my family. I need to do this. This is the only option. Oh, I understand, I understand. Hmm, hmm. I, I also think about that. Hmm. Oh, I understand, I understand. Come on, come on. Shin? Nimba, do you want to go? 
Minja my gala. So now I'm Jama. See I meet I meet with people like them frequently and because they need the money. And I give them opportunity to get them out of poverty, to help their living. So they're willing to offer their kidneys, organs, whatever, tissue. So I'm just a middleman and and uh, and I take take the information down, find a matching recipient, and some of the operations take place in in various clinics throughout Germany, throughout Turkey, throughout other places, and they're run by doctors, they're run by professionals. It's very smooth. Everything goes well, you know. Everyone's happy. You know. I don't want to do this anymore. They uh, made me sign papers in English. I can't speak English. I don't even know what it is that I signed. I was locked in a warehouse when I arrived for over 10 hours. I know that I'm involved in the mafia. I don't want to do this, but I know that if I refuse, they will just knock me out and go ahead with the procedure. My name is Dietrich. I'm a German doctor and uh, I, I do transplants and I do them internationally as well as within the nation. I do about 2,000 a year. Um, I'm a professional at that trade. I uh, don't know a whole lot uh, about uh, the patients, the, the community, everything that goes on within, but I'm the man that does the, the work for them. Um, I'm, I'm in a high position of um, authority within the, the doctor circles. I, I have no more time for questions. I have to go. Sorry. This has been my biggest mistake. I should not have done this. 
The bleeding. The pain is very, very bad. He said that there would be no pain. He said there was no side effects. But there is no medical help here in Burma. The, the hospitals, they cannot help me. I do not have the money. The money I made was it's gone. It was gone within six months. This is it. This is it. I cannot go back now.